15 ways to deal when you and your bestie aren't friends anymore. Number 12 will make you forget you're even sad. Friend breakups suck. Let's be honest. Losing your best friend, whether through a major blowout or a slow fade, can feel devastating. The emotional turmoil is real, and it's okay to acknowledge that you're hurting. But fear not. This article will guide you through 15 effective ways to cope when the friendship you once cherished has come to an end. Buckle up. By the end, you'll feel empowered and ready to embrace your new chapter. 1. Acknowledge the suckiness. First and foremost, allow yourself to feel the pain. You were incredibly close, sharing secrets and dreams. It's perfectly normal to feel a significant void in your life right now. Many people equate the end of a close friendship to the sorrow felt after a romantic breakup. Give yourself permission to grieve. Your feelings are valid, and acknowledging them is the first step toward healing. 2. Trust that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Even if the thought of a future without your bestie seems impossible, Hold on to the belief that life will get better. Surround yourself with positive affirmations and remind yourself that there are countless amazing people waiting to enter your life. This part may be tough, but the journey through pain often leads to personal growth and fulfilling relationships. 3. Resist the urge to fix things immediately. It's natural to want to mend fences as soon as possible but rushing to fix the friendship may not be the best idea. Time and space can bring clarity, allowing you to evaluate the situation more thoughtfully. Sometimes, taking a step back is essential to determine if rekindling the friendship is worth it, or if it's better to part ways permanently. 4. Clue in your mutual friends. Keeping your mutual friends informed about your situation can help ease any potential awkwardness. Politely let them know that you and your best friend are not on speaking terms for now. This way, they can be sensitive to the dynamics and avoid putting you both in uncomfortable situations. 5. Don't drag your mutual friends into the drama. While it may be tempting to vent to your mutual friends about your ex-bestie, resist that urge. Gossip can spread quickly and put your friends in a compromising position. Instead, Consider reaching out to someone outside your shared social circle, like an old camp friend or a cousin, to air your grievances without creating unnecessary tension. 6. Create a game plan. You have a party coming up, and your ex-bestie will be there. How do you navigate this tricky situation? Find a supportive friend to stick by your side throughout the event. This way, you can focus on having fun instead of dwelling on the past. A polite greeting is all that's needed. Keep it classy, and remember that throwing shade will only reflect poorly on you. 7. Make shared classes less awkward. If you're in the same class as your ex-bestie, consider switching seats if possible. Avoid unnecessary confrontations by being courteous. If group projects are unavoidable, maintain professionalism and focus on the task at hand. By being civil, you may even find that your former friend reciprocates, making the environment less tense. 8. Hang out with shared friends individually. Navigating friendships in a shared group can be complicated after a breakup. Instead of avoiding all mutual friends, try hanging out with them individually. This allows you to maintain those connections without the pressure of addressing the fallout. Acknowledge the situation up front, but then dive into enjoyable activities, allowing for genuine moments without the awkwardness of your past friendship. 9. Pay attention to your emotions. During one-on-one -on -one hangouts, take note of how you feel. Are you genuinely enjoying yourself, or do you find yourself feeling out of place? These insights can guide you toward realizing whether you're outgrowing your friend group or if there's still value in those connections. Sometimes, moving on is liberating. 10. Talk it out. Talking to someone about your feelings can be incredibly cathartic. Whether it's a trusted family member or a therapist, 
expressing your emotions will lift the weight off your chest. If the sadness feels overwhelming, don't hesitate to seek professional help. There's no shame in wanting to understand and process your emotions. 11. Expand your circle. If your social life has revolved around your ex-best friend, consider branching out. Reach out to acquaintances, or even that girl in class who you occasionally chat with. Invite her for ice cream or coffee. Expanding your circle can help you discover new friendships and create a supportive network during this tough time. 12. Try something new. Boredom can exacerbate feelings of sadness, so staying busy is crucial. Engage in new activities, train for a 5K, volunteer, or start a YouTube channel. The busier you are, the less time you'll have to dwell on the loss of your friendship. Plus, new experiences may introduce you to potential new friends, enriching your life in unexpected ways. 13. Lay low on social media. In the age of social media, it can be tempting to constantly check your ex-besties updates. Instead, consider taking a break from their online presence. Unfollowing or muting them can create the mental space you need to heal. Remember not to post passive-aggressive messages aimed at them. This will only draw more attention to the drama and may damage your reputation. 14. Consider whether the friendship is worth saving. Take time to reflect on whether this is a friendship you'd want to salvage in the future. Is this person someone you envision having in your life long term, or has their behavior shown that they might be toxic? Understanding the nature of your past friendship can help guide your decision on whether to mend fences or let go for good. 15. Live your life. Lastly, don't halt your plans just because your friendship has changed. While it's tough to let go of dreams of sharing rocking chairs with your bestie in old age, moving on can open the door to even better friendships. Embrace this opportunity to discover new experiences, meet new people, and cultivate a life filled with joy and laughter. Friend breakups can feel like the end of the world, but remember that it's merely a chapter in your life. By using these 15 strategies, You'll not only navigate the difficult transition, but also emerge stronger and more resilient. Embrace the journey, and soon enough, you'll find yourself laughing and living life to the fullest once more. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.